Today I am hoping to fix our engine light that is keeps coming on in this 2005 Grand Caravan 3.3 liter. We have about well 300 and there 234,000 kilometers on it. <coughs> engine light's been coming on, gives us some drivability problems, some bad idle, really bad fuel mileage and it has actually stalled a couple of times but it restarts and away you go so first thing i'm gonna do is check the codes key on okay this looks like the same old codes as it does. Uh, P0172, bank 12 rich is code number one. Uh, next code, P131, bank 102 sensor, circuit voltage low. Code number three, bank number one, two lean. Kind of points at the O2 sensor again. And code number four, P0172, bank one, two rich. And I've looked at internet videos and stuff, and I've never seen anybody have the two lean and two rich code at the same time. I've taken, taken some time and searched the internet. Uh, there is a handful of parts that could go wrong with this thing. <clears throat> one of them is the oxygen sensors. Bank one would be the upstream oxygen sensor. Bank one oxygen sensor there, circuit low voltage, points at the oxygen sensor. Uh, system 2 lean bank 1. The other. And 2 rich. So, I'm going to erase these. Yet again. And I think I'm going to replace that bank one oxygen sensor and see what happens. So this is a 05 Grand Caravan 3.3 liter and the bank 102 sensor is and I've done like a lot of other people and sprayed it with WD-40 or some kind of penetrating oil to start. myself an oxygen sensor socket. I think it was about 15 bucks. Yeah, I've got the O2 sensor unplugged. Got my uh, O2 sensor socket on it. And I'm going to give it a whirl. A lot of people have had problems with it being really tight. It likes to seize in there. Hopefully I'll have good luck. pretty easy. I got the new one out of the bag. Put some of the supplied copper coat, anti-seize, onto the threads here. So I guess if you ever do want to take it out again, everything's all new. Pull the string, spring back, and we'll get this one threaded in. I 
I did it with <coughs> socket, and that's about a 6 to 8 inch extension, and a 3 8 ratchet. And my oxygen sensor plug, uh, spark, uh, spark plug, oxygen sensor socket. So now, we'll see how that works. Okay, I've already cleared my codes. Right at the beginning there. <laughs> Got the oxygen sensor replaced. And let's give it a try, see what happens. Just give it back to the wife to drive to test. Maybe I will go around the block just to see if that light does come back on and see if there's any more drivability problems. Okay, looks like we're almost up to operating temperature here. Get out on the highway, get up to warm up a little bit. Running pretty good, no engine light yet. Just may have fixed it. I think we'll uh, try that for a bit. Uh, I went for a drive, uh, looks like about 10 kilometers maybe or so. We're up to operating temperature. Uh, I do have a little bit of a smell, I think, coming from it. That's probably the WD-40 that I sprayed on the exhaust, kind of burning off. Uh, so far, it seems to be pretty smooth. Uh, I thought I felt a uh, shudder when I was accelerating there with the camera off, but uh, driving around, uh, I don't know, maybe it's just getting used to it, blowing other stuff out through, I don't know. But... If that fixes it, right on. Uh, I think we paid about $45 for that oxygen sensor, uh, about $15 for that socket to replace it, and uh, half an hour, maybe an hour in total. 